let's start talking about the supply curve then the demand curve tells you the relationship between prices and quantity demanded supply curve is also a kind of relationship between prices and quantity but now you are talking about the relationship between prices and quantity supplied and the relationship or the graph that tells you that relationship between prices and quantity supplied is nothing but the supply curve aur ye kya relationship hai ye basically batata hai that at a given price what is the amount of goods and services that the producer wants to supply so at different prices what are these quantities at which the producer wants to supply will give you the supply schedule or the supply curve and uh, just how we had law of demand humne bola tha that other things constant or ceteris paribus uh, the prices and the quantity demanded are negatively related similarly we also have a law of supply which states that ceteris paribus given everything else stays constant the prices and the quantity supplied are positively related so it is just the opposite of the demand curve wherein now we are saying that as price is increase the supply or the quantity supplied also uh, increases and which is also logically obvious why because now you are thinking from the perspective of a supplier of a producer and a producer would want to make uh, as much profits as possible so that can be achieved by charging higher prices if the prices are higher then uh, the producer can expect to make higher profits and higher profits would mean that they would now want to produce more and that is why you have this positive relationship uh, between prices and quantity just how we created a demand schedule you can also create a supply schedule which is a tabular form jahan pe aap present kar sakte ho that at given prices what is the amount of quantity that the producer would want to supply so say at 5 you have 20 units being supplied in the market at 10 you have 25 and at 15 you have 30 you see that as prices rise the quantity supplied is also rising aur is tarike ke schedule ko is tarike ki table ko aap bolte ho supply schedule so uh, you know everything stays the same jo humne demand ke case mein padha tha but now you are just thinking about everything from a perspective of a supplier Rather than a consumer demand के केस में हम कंज्यूमर के परस्पेक्टिव से समझते थे और यहाँ पे हम सप्लायर के परस्पेक्टिव से समझ रहे हैं अगेन यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंसिएशन बिटवीन द इंडिविजुअल सप्लाई कर्व एंड मार्केट सप्लाई कर्व एंड अगेन इट इज सिमिलर टू वॉट वी हैड डिस्कस्ड इन द डिमांड कर्व विच इज दैट सपोज यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूसर सप्लायर वन सप्लायर टू इन द मार्केट इनके इंडिविजुअल सप्लाई कर्व हैं you can get the market supply curve by conducting a horizontal summation of these two supply curves which is that at a given price you can figure out ki is price pe kitni supply supplier 1 kar raha hai aur kitni supply supplier 2 kar raha hai and then you can add s1 plus s2 and you will get your total market supply so market supply is nothing but a horizontal summation of the individual supply curves a supplier now shifts in supply curve so supply curve could shift either in the rightwards direction or in the leftwards direction rightward direction ka matlab hai that now at a given price the supplier is willing to supply more and leftward shift ka matlab hai now at the given price the supplier is selling less so what are the reasons that creates a shift in the supply curve or an increase or a decrease in the quantity supplied as we discussed various reasons for why a demand curve would shift similarly we can have reasons for why a supply curve will shift uh, first reason for uh, a change or a shift in the supply curve is the change in the input prices now because hum yahan pe ab supply or production process ki baat kar rahe hain to आउटपुट प्राइसेस जो होते हैं या कितनी क्वांटिटी आप किसी प्राइस पे सप्लाई करना चाहोगे उसका एक इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर हो सकता है कि एट व्हाट प्राइस आर यू परचेजिंग द इनपुट्स ऑब्वियसली किसी भी आउटपुट को प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए आपको कुछ इनपुट्स रिक्वायर्ड होते हैं 
और इन इनपुट्स के प्राइस से ये आपको पता लगेगा कि आपका प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस एक्सपेंसिव है हाउ एक्सपेंसिव इट इज फॉर यू टू प्रोड्यूस अ पर्टिकुलर कमोडिटी और प्रोवाइड अ पर्टिकुलर सर्विस एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द चेंज इन द इनपुट प्राइसेस योर सप्लाई कर्व कुड शिफ्ट राइट वर्ड और लेफ्ट वर्ड सपोज द प्राइस ऑफ इनपुट राइजेस the inputs become expensive which means that your production will also become expensive aapka jo production process hai wo expensive ho jayega your cost will increase now because of this increase in cost your profit margin will decrease because your input prices have increased you might want to supply lesser because you will now have to get a lesser profit aur ho sakta hai ki aapke incentives to produce decrease ho jaye aur is wajah se your supply curve would shift leftwards whenever we are talking about a reduction in the supply then there will be a leftwards shift aur agar increase ho raha hai supply kisi reason ki wajah se to rightward shift hoga so input prices is one reason that can affect the shift of a supply curve. is next factor is technology now uh, because i'm production ki baat kar rahe hain technology again is a very important or crucial factor which could affect how much quantity are you producing so suppose there is some technological advancement that happens or aap uh, ka jo production process tha ho sakta hai pehle aap manual uh, production process follow kar rahe the but now suppose there is some kind of machine that has been created for this production process now because of this new technology it is possible ki aapki jo supply hai wo affect ho aur aapki supply increase ho jaye because maybe now with this given technology you are able to produce more with the existing set of inputs hence a rightward shift in the supply curve again a uh, third could be expectations and this is something that we had discussed even in the case of demand curve now expectations aapke supply curve pe kya affect karenge kya uh, result create karenge that depends on how and what kind of expectations you have so suppose your expectation is that in the future the price of your output will rise suppose you are producing vehicles you are producing automobiles theek hai aap cars motorbikes ye sari cheeze banate ho you are a supplier or a producer of this commodity now you are expecting uh, that the prices of petrol or fuel or diesel or any other you know fuel is going to decrease in the future aapki expectation hai that there are some economic changes which are happening which might lead to a reduction in the fuel prices in the future now when you are expecting this to happen you simultaneously also expect that people will now purchase more of vehicles because petrol or the fuel prices might fall now because of this expectation um, you will want to produce uh, maybe lesser today because in expectation of higher demand in the future you can always increase your prices you can always feel that the price of your vehicles might increase because there is a greater demand in the future that you are expecting today aap expect kar rahe ho ki future mein ho sakta hai ki petrol prices fall karenge because of which the prices of the vehicles might increase and because of this expectation because of this upward expectation of price in the future ho sakta hai ki aap aaj ki situation mein apne production ko kam kar do apne supply ko kam kar do because obviously you would want to sell more in a situation jahan pe prices zyada hai so you would want to wait for that time uh, and uh, you know sell more in the future which might affect your quantity supplied of today and that might decrease your quantity supply in the present time so again expectations can affect the quantity supplied and it could either create a rightward shift or a leftward shift depending on how and what kind of expectation you are building iska opposite expectation bhi aap build kar sakte the ho sakta hai aap ye build kar sakte the ki maybe the petrol and the fuel prices are going to shoot up they are going to rise so much that the possibility of people purchasing vehicles would become zero people might adopt alternative methods which we are actually you know uh, going for which is electric vehicles so maybe people would stop buying fuel uh, vehicles and they will go for electric vehicles so you have an expectation that your your demand for the vehicles jo jis tarike ki aap produce kar rahe ho which is fuel supplied fuel uh, supported might fall and might fall so much that the prices might also drop agar aapke ye expectation hai about future then that will increase the quantity supplied in the present times because now you will have an expectation that yes uh, in the future the prices are going to fall so let's sell as much as possible in the present time 
that might increase your quantity supplied and hence a right word shift in the supply curve so expectations also play an important role in deciding the current supply curve but what direction uh, depends on what expectation you are building what is the expectation that you are building then the fourth uh, and the last uh, reason that could affect or shift the supply curve is the number of sellers and as we discussed for the demand curve also where we talked about how number of buyers could affect the demand similarly number of sellers would affect the market supply curve and obviously it is a direct relationship ki agar number of sellers increase honge market mein to obviously uh, jo supply hai quantity supplied hai market ki that will also increase because now you have more number of people selling commodities in the market so market supply curve will increase with more number of people so number of sellers is another reason or another factor that could explain the shift in the supply so these are some factors which tell you why a supply curve might shift now that we have discussed about the demand and the supply curve we have a fair idea of what is demand what is market what is supply what are the reasons why uh, a demand curve would shift or a supply curve would shift it is now time to bring both the demand and the supply curve on the same graph and try and understand where exactly does the economy want to stop at itne sare options hain jab aap demand curve ki baat karte ho to there are so many points on the demand curve that are possible similarly on the supply curve there are so many points which are possible but which is that point where the economy would want to stop is the equilibrium point so equilibrium is a point at which once the market reaches this point the quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied which is that market mein jitni demand hai jitna consumers demand kar rahe hain market mein exactly utna hi market mein supply ho raha hai that is the point of equilibrium which is where the demand curve and the supply curve intersect with each other and in this scenario this is the equilibrium price and this is the equilibrium quantity at which you are exactly supplying the amount which is demanded by the consumer so hum is price ko equilibrium price bolte hain aur is price ko equilibrium quantity bolte hain it is not necessary that the economy will always be in this situation aisa zaruri nahi hai ki economy hamesha hi equilibrium pe rehti hai it is possible that the economy might be in a disequilibrium situation aur disequilibrium situation yahan pe aap do tarike se dekh sakte ho pehli situation hoti hai ki aapki jo market prices hain jo aapki actual prices hain they are greater than the equilibrium price so suppose your price is somewhere in this zone in this situation you will always notice that the quantity supplied is more than the quantity demand अगर सपोज आपकी मार्केट की एक्चुअल प्राइस ये है ठीक है इक्विलिब्रियम प्राइस पे तो क्वांटिटी डिमांड और क्वांटिटी सप्लाई सेम होता है लेकिन सपोज योर मार्केट प्राइस इज दिस एट दिस प्राइस यू नोटिस दैट दिस इज द क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड और ये जो है ये है क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड यू नोटिस दैट द सप्लाई इज ग्रेटर देन डिमांड मतलब इकोनॉमी में प्रोडक्ट जो है वो ज्यादा सप्लाई हो रहा है लेकिन उतनी खरीदारी नहीं हो रही है इतनी डिमांड नहीं है उसकी सच सिचुएशन आर कॉल्ड एज सिचुएशन ऑफ सरप्लस बिकॉज यू हैव एक्स्ट्रा कमोडिटीज इन दार्केट ऑपोजिट केस होगा जब आपकी एक्चुअल प्राइस इक्विलिब्रियम प्राइस से कम है दैट इज दिनारियो जहां पे यू विल नोटिस दैट द क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज ग्रेटर देन द्वांटिटी सप्लाइड नाउ दिस इज क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ये वाला जो पोर्शन है दिस रिफ्लेक्ट्स क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड एंड दिस इज क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड एंड यू नोटिस दैट देयर इज नाउ अ हायर डिमांड एज कंपेयर टू द सप्लाई नाउ इट इज द ऑपोजिट केस यहां पे डिमांड ज्यादा है और सप्लाई कम है क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज ग्रेटर देन क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड सच सिचुएशंस आर कॉल्ड एज सिचुएशंस ऑफ शॉर्टेजेस सो पीपल वांट मोर पीपल आर डिमांडिंग मोर बट देयर इज लेस सप्लाई or you can also say that there is excess demand demand is in excess but not enough supply to cater this demand so in such situations where there is excess demand uh, you can imagine a situation jahan pe consumers are willing to buy this commodity but there is not enough supply for it yeah so you people might have to wait in lines मतलब नंबर लगाना पड़े एंड देयर इज अ चांस कि ऐसी सिचुएशंस में ब्लैक मार्केट क्रिएट हो और इवन 
uh, formally also officially also the suppliers can respond to this situation by increasing the price of their commodity because this is a kind of a situation where buyers are chasing the commodity buyers are willing to buy the commodity but there is not many suppliers selling this commodity so obviously the, this kind of scenario could result in an increase in prices where the sellers could collectively decide that they can uh, extract more profits in this situation by charging a higher price and this price increase uh, might lead to again a fall in the demand because obviously जब प्राइस इंक्रीज हो जाएगा तो ऐसा हो सकता है कि कुछ लोग इसको अफोर्ड कर सकते हैं कुछ लोग इसको अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते सो देर इज अ चांस दैट द क्वांटिटी डिमांड माइट फॉल एंड द क्वांटिटी सप्लाई विल इंक्रीज व्हिच विल ब्रिंग द इकोनॉमी बैक टू इक्विलिब्रियम बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम इज की क्वांटिटी डिमांड ज्यादा है और अगर प्राइस इंक्रीज हो जाता है मार्केट में तो क्वांटिटी डिमांड विल स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग एंड इट विल फॉल टू अ पॉइंट such that the economy reaches back to its equilibrium point where the demand is exactly equal to the supply सिमिलर जो मैकेनिज्म है वो इस केस में भी ऑपरेट करेगा जहां पे आपकी जो इकोनॉमी है वो सरप्लस प्रोड्यूस कर रही है वेर दी सप्लाई इज मोर एंड डिमांड इज लेस इस सिनेरियो में क्या होगा इस सिनेरियो में प्राइसेस विल फॉल बिकॉज नाउ दी सप्लायर्स फील दैट दे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर बट देर इज नॉट इनफ डिमांड फॉर इट सो टू इंक्रीज द डिमांड या इस चीज को करने के लिए कि लोग ज्यादा इस कमोडिटी को खरीदे suppliers might decrease the prices and when they decrease the prices demand will start increasing and supply will start falling and it will adjust the demand and supply will adjust such that they come back to their equilibrium point where the demand is exactly equal to supply so no matter where you start from no matter whether the actual prices are above the equilibrium price or below the equilibrium price you will ultimately come back to your equilibrium point if the markets are operating efficiently obviously hamesha zaruri nahi hai ye cheeze ho kyunki there can be imperfections in the market there can be failures of the market but agar markets successfully operate kar rahe hain efficiently operate kar rahe hain so no matter where you start from you start from a situation of a surplus or you start from a situation of shortage in the end you will always be in the equilibrium position